Alright guys, and welcome back to another episode of Grammon Game Plays Resident Evil Game Again! Game. Yeah. Just this time with Chris. Yes, action Chris. Yep. So, guys, we're going to go... Actually... Did your brain die a little? No. Okay. Well, Chris is walking in circles, which is something Chris does. Indeed, he does. That's, that's not very action-y. There's gotta be, like, dodge rolls and boulder punching and mini bullets. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Well, he's about to turn into a crimson head. The inside joke, folks, is that uh, Nutchucks explained to me with some detail and a lot of vigor, saying, yeah, we gotta do this and this and this. Man, I can't wait to click rest. And then we load in, and there's just this sort of uh, I'm doing a thing. Pretty much. With like a gun, and it might be a snake. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. So we got the mansion key or the shield key. We shot Armor some dogs. Key. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we did the the senseless puzzle, the yep. Andy Jones moment. And now, it's time for more bullets. Yep. We gotta go drop off this key real quick. And then we gotta go do a puzzle. Go figure. Go figure? Is it the window puzzle? No, it is the <laughs> switching out of shield puzzles. Mm. So we gotta make our way all the way down yonder. And by down yonder, I mean the room with the piano, which is through here. What kind of piano is it? Grand piano? Grand piano. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm not a piano aficionado. You mean you're not Morgan Freeman in Unleashed? God, I have not seen that movie in God knows how long. <laughs> so, to answer your question, that would be no. <laughs> yes. Hey, Mansion Key, what do you know? Sometimes I play God, and other times I play blind piano tuners. Oh, son of a bitch. It's a varied career. So, we're going to go get rid of the sword key. Sword? Sword. I love swords. S word. S word. <laughs> S words. Don't say the S word. There was a book that I read a long time ago. I think it was actually Elminster, one of the uh, old D&D &D books. Uh, when he was a young and before he was a wise and powerful wizard of the Forgotten Realms. Huh. Where swearing in his age and time, swords was a swear. Probably in the same severity as shit. But, like, you don't say that. That's an oath. You make an oath. Huh. Not a blight company. But it is, cousin. He wanted to mark the occasion with a strong set of words. Come back That's like that. a little baby key. I'll kill you uh, too. There's stuff happening, but I don't know what's happening. It's time to leave. So I need to come back down here. And get no, me. sir. It's zombie time. Okay. So, pretty much, we're going to try to make this a speed run. So, make it <laughs> easier, though. I feel like there are two nutchucks. Two? Oh. One hemisphere in his brain does things, and the other says things. And every now and then they're on the same page. That's very true. That is 100% true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, I say a lot of stuff, and I'm like, yeah, this is a speed run. That took me twice as long as the original one. Mm -hmm. Like, I speed run through I, it. I'm curious. I'll probably look up and see what some of the average speed run times are for this sort of game. Uh, two hours. I, you know, a good speed runner probably find some weird shit we never thought of and probably get it under 40 minutes. You'd, yeah, say, you'd say, oh, God, why, how? Well, see, if you poke the statue really hard with your shoulder, you just skip half the game. Like, okay, thank you for finding this. Could have been curing cancer instead of this shit. But who am I to judge? So, now that we've done that, here, let's see what this says. An expensive-looking grand piano. Piani, it is. Bullshit. He can't play. No. Nope. He can't read, period. How can he read, uh, sheet music? Indeed. He's a punch savant. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. I don't know anybody who lets... Like Moonlight Sonata. Any of their rookie police officers wear that. Like, I'm gonna go wear this to a mission today. Well, she got assigned to plain clothes. Ah. Right out the gate. 
She appears in Revelations? No. Oh. She doesn't have... She play. She appears in Zero, which is the prequel to this. But that's all she's done. Does she become a, a zomboid? Nope. She survives, and then you see her come into this, and that's it. That's the end of Rebecca's story. They have mm. not added on to it. I like his dumb, dummy face. He's like, what was that? whoa. My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. God, I want to shoot you right now. Fine. Play the piano. I need to go back in that room. And grab me one of that old key. The old key? The old key. Is it different than the baby key? No. Or the old man key, or the folky key. The folk key, if you will. Sure. We'll go with that. You won the bitch. <laughs> Good headshots. So, we're gonna go do that. Up the stairs, down the stairs. Yep. But there are no sideways stairs here. There's none, unfortunately. To our chagrin. Zero. <laughs> I mean, I truly am devastated inside. I can't get past these. I I'm stymied. How am I going to clear these stairs? You're not. You're going to have to just deal with it, unfortunately. I'm going to punch him. I mean, if you think you can punch a boulder, you can punch through a door. If he hates it enough. If it leads to punching Wesker, yes. <laughs> sunglasses throw I mean sunglasses do make good shuriken <laughs> that would be kind of funny especially if they draw blood which makes them actual shuriken because I, I believe shura or shuri is bloodletting or actually drawing blood and ken is like strike I thought it was just a guy from uh, Street Fighter uh, ken is yes well, you don't speak them Japanese? I thought they were just saying it surely can. Surely can. Please yes. don't call him Leslie. I gotta rewatch Airplane. Indeed. Good it's movie. It's been a long time. I was maybe eight when I saw it last. Wow. Yeah. Ever since then, all I got was the speak jive joke. <laughs> I know it exists. I know it's funny. I know it's a classic, but... I haven't seen it in a modern format for a while. I'm not really going to fish for VHSs. It's uh, it's on Netflix. It is? Digital? Uh, actually, excuse me, not Netflix. Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Well, it's time to go sign up for the Amazon Ultra Prime Experience. Indeed. For a measly $299. You can measly $299. You can get sweet discounts, premium delivery, uh, in-house drone, and a ball massager. <laughs> That'd be great. You, you, your balls are being massaged. Yes. Yes, indeed. I vividly remember the last time we talked about this. Yeah, I fucked up this time I didn't. Yeah. Ta -da. Thank you. Thank you for that. Then drop the ball, ladies and gentlemen. My faith in you is partially restored again. Thank you. It's a floating balance. It's like a tab. I figured. You pay some down, you raise some more. Yay. No, I just made a shortcut. Kind of. Let's go back inside. Actually, let's go drop this bad boy off. Hopefully she's done practicing the moonlight that serenade. That significant ass tombstone is still there. The camera angle tells me that is an important name. But it's not. Possibly the lead developer's girl. Maybe. Or dog. Some people or do dog. That. No mouth? Which one's no mouth? This one. Well, it's a big mouth. It's That's no Steven mouth. Tyler mouth. It has to be this one. Ta-da. The only thing bigger than Steven Tyler mouth is Imhotep mouth. How do we know how big Emotep's mouth is? From The Mummy, with Brendan Frazier. Who was the bad guy in that Arnold one? Arnold Vosloo. All right, thank you. Yes. And who was the guy who played in uh, 
Dear God, I cannot remember the night <laughs> oh, movie. Oh, we are stumped. What? Uh, it's not like, uh, not, it's not the Leslie Nelson movie. It's the other cheap knockoff, like Dark Mask or Dark Knight, Dark Man. Darkman? That's Leslie. The Phantom. No, that's Billy Zane. Uh, yes, Arnie was one of those. Wasn't Dark Man. Invisible Man? No. Good question. Blank Man? Well, I was one of the Waynes. <laughs> Getting confused all the time. The Shadow? That might be it. Okay. No. No, 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 no. That's, uh... Wait, which one was Alec Baldwin? That's the one with Leslie Nielsen. He replaces Leslie in that one. Hmm. Huge nose. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of hard to believe Leslie Nielsen... Not Leslie Nielsen, dear God. Liam Neeson. <laughs> oh, wow. No, no, no. He had a really good action term for a while. <laughs> yeah. Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> uh, in the comments, you can let us know what your favorite Leslie Nielsen action blockbusters are. Chris, including his favorite Chris, bloodiest scene. I think I got it. Uh, Leslie Nielsen? Yes. Naked Gun, 33 and a third. <laughs> those, are, those are the only good ones. Or action movies that I know he's been in. Oh no, we're locked in. Not. Not? You sure not? I'm sure. Skip in the diary. Skip a doo? Skip a doo da. Remind me, Trevor is who? Uh, Lisa Trevor's father. Ah. Uh. So his. Yeah, that is the father. Well, considering Lisa Trevor, I think maybe this... It, it makes sense where he went off to. True. I mean, if you were the father of that. Well, originally she wasn't that. Remember that. She was experimented on after they killed him. Well, before he got there, actually. Excuse me. They were just like, you know what we're going to do to this little girl right here? Well, something. why this one? I don't know. She's here? Yeah, she just showed up. We told her her dad was here and we would help her out. And we're just going to inject this horrible plant virus into her. Let's see what happens. Oh, not what I expected. All right, go put her down in the basement. <laughs> I was expecting poison ivy. Um, instead, I get this. All right, large, left, large, left. No. Ding dong. Come on, just fucking move by now. Jeez. Lightning strikes again. We really gotta have with you. Abre la hora. <laughs> well, that's kind of hard to tell which one it is. The graving of a shield. Alright. So. Let's go fight Yon. Please, I want to see that. Let's go fight the world's biggest trouser snake. Remember that cheap-ass tactic we used? Now it's... Three times as fast. Well, not that one. That's the second Yon fight. This is the first up in the attic. Oh, right. The non fight. Yeah, this is the one where uh, Dick gets eaten in Jill's version. Om nom Dick. Yep. Plus grenades. Yep. With no grenades this time, we're just going to blast, blast, blast. Indeed. Should is it we... possible to mod in a phrase where he just says gat every time he fires? Potentially. I mean, I don't know how to mod. So, yes. Good. Should I... Should you? Uh, I'll be good. Are you confident in your abilities? I am. Okay. I think. I believe you. Oh. One more question. Are you the guy embezzling from us? No. Okay. I believe you. The hell's that from? Metal Oclips. Oh. Chucks this out. My lungs totally embezzles the air from the planet. I have not watched that show in such a long time. I... I, I, I have a lot of affection for it. Hmm, this is this is good. There's no backup, no company, no grenades. Oh, oh shit, shit boo boo. <laughs> oh, no! What now? What now? What will he do? Oh, just that. I just maybe not in front of his mouth. <laughs> I never thought about that. Just stick by its tail. It'll be okay. Oh, you're doing the thing that I did in Demon Souls with the man eaters. Very good. Just stick by a column, they could possibly attack you there. <laughs> what is Chris auto target? Just the tail, the head, the torso, anything? Head. Head. Always head. And remind me, the striking power of 
this weapon versus your standard 9mm Beretta is same? Higher? Uh, a little higher. A little higher. It's berries, so he molested it, so it has um, superpowers. That seemed pretty easy. So, I'm kind of confused right here, because normally if you get bitten, you have to be saved by Rebecca. Mm -hmm. So since I didn't get bitten, what happens? Let's find out. There you go. I'm okay. I'm not dizzy. I don't have the aids or the clap or anything. I just walk out of the room fine. Clates! Haha! -ha! I was correct. Just walk out of the room fine. Just walk out of the room fine. Like, I'm good. He seemed really worried for a second, then he thought about saying, I don't go to the gym, I'm just natural like this. Oh, Whoa, fuck you. Good clothesline. That was like a follow all three ghoul. It was. Goddamn crimson heads. I believe, if I remember correctly, um, Fallout 3 and New Vegas have the ghoul clothesline, and Fallout 4 just has the creepy molesty hug. Oh, hey, there's another crimson head. You mean they can't work doors? No. Those hands Those are as good as Velociraptor claws. They can work doors. Let's see. Sam Neill told me Velociraptors can <laughs> use doors. That was Sam Neill from Event Horizon. Not Sam Neill from Daybreakers, if you're wondering. Uh, for some reason, I had Sam Neill as Sam Elliott. I was like, Sam Elliott wasn't in Jurassic Park. I'm like, wait a minute. What the hell am I thinking about here? Hey, look, there's shotgun ammo that I'm not going to ever use. Goody. Oh, look, you I'm know fine. what to use shotgun ammo for, as most auto rifle ammo. Brown, brown. Making more and more brown, brown. Yeah. And if you haven't watched Lord of War, shame on you. It's been a long time since I've seen Lord of War. John Leguizamo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage. I mean, you're thinking of Spawn, but sure. No. <laughs> no Leguizamo. Who the heck's his partner, then? That would be Jared Leto. Is it Jared Leto? Of 30 Seconds to Mars fame. And jo a, Joker and... Well, the Dallas most, the most recent Joker. Yes. Very good role, Dallas, but Dallas Mars. Never and seen American it. American Psycho. Uh, every, spoiler... Something happens, something bad happens to Jerry Leto's character in every movie he's in. And most of his music videos, he also like gets hurt or dies in. Might be something he... he fight um, Club, too. He was in Fight Club. Was he really? He was he the was, blondie. It's also in Chapman. He was the one who got his face fucked the fuck up fuck. Oh, wow. Chapman? Chapman. He plays Mark David Chapman. Oh, good. Does he get killed there, too? Uh, no, because I think Mark David Chapman isn't dead. In long sure, time. in real life. But, I mean, this is Jared. He's like, can I please get... Something bad happened to me, please? Can I just get, like, punched in the face, like, eight times, please? <laughs> like, that never happened to him. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Yeah, but this is my interpretation of it. This represents his inner guilt. That hit me. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing a song about um, this. Jared Leto, or Leto, your preference. I just yeah. prefer Duke Leto Atreides from Every time Doom. I hear Leto, I think of, um, Full Metal Alchemist. Shame, shame on me. I still haven't rewatched it. Ah, uh, it's the whole... It's, he's the first three episodes they mentioned it, but it's mm. one of the. By the way, Forrest, Rib's gone. Uh huh. Uh, I'm not gonna go back there. Eat the marrow, it's good for you. I should, but I don't wanna. It's a bait, so fuck you. Is that Jared Jer Lito? Uh, Just an upsettingly handsome man. He's like 45, too, which is crazy. Yeah, he looks, looks 25. Yeah. He is what Sings, every Sean acts. William Scott at character was like, I wish I could look that way for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I get roles. Like, no. I'm sorry. You're not. Sean William Scott, the black sheep of Hollywood. One of them. Indeed. All right, let's get rid of this gun. Or, Anybody remember Bulletproof Monk? No. Anybody? Anybody? Nope. Okay. I haven't. I don't think I've ever watched that movie. It's not terrible, but it's not yeah, awesome either. Yeah, you keep lying to yourself about that. <laughs> I have a, a high movie. tolerance for Chinese cinema. Ah, uh, but that's not Chinese. It's like saying Cradle of the Grave is a Chinese cinema. It's DMX. Well, it's a Chinese cartoon. Cradle of the Grave? Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Way different thing. Excuse me. Nice. In your face. So, no, out your face. Oh, look, face look, everywhere. Look at the blood or the chunk of meat just yeah. sticking off the side. Oh, it's, fading. It it's fading. It's <laughs> fading. You see, the cranial protrusion here uh, in the banister is uh, authentically lodged by a STARS member's bullet. I would literally, if I saw that in real life and a skull just faded away, I'm like, I quit. Where are you going, Chris? <laughs> fuck this place. But Chris, fuck this Are you saying this place. isn't real? No, it's nowhere near close to real. Are you saying I'm monster? Sure, we'll go with that. We all have monsters inside of us. Yours is 
the hand of fate. Yours is the sword of Michael. Prophecy? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I, I can heal you. Treat any wound. What? No, I'm fine. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, Chris, when I saw you me. earlier, no you weren't problem. 30. I'm okay. We're you weren't 45 and so built like a goddamn power lifter. I said I'm okay. <laughs> um, that was an episode of Metro Brothers, I believe, where they did the Scooby Doo gang joke. And they had the uh, van of people who were the same stereotypes, except for the dog didn't talk. Or maybe it did, but only to the stoner. <laughs> and the, they was telling him that that was like empowering him to try and save it. It spoke with a German accent. I don't know why. But it was a good gag. Oh, yeah, for the longest time, I just told everybody that Scooby-Doo, they were all high, and Scooby was actually a uh, gopher. <laughs> <laughs> gopher chucks! <laughs> like... Uh, they were like, how did you come up with this? Like, you know any seven-foot-tall talking dogs? They're like, no. Mm -hmm. if your I eyes get the are feeling tight. that maybe Shaggy and Velma would get high. But the other two? Oh, Fred? He wears that ascot. You know what he's carried in there. He's pulling out of the doobie every so no, often. No, Fred would smoke actual cigarettes, but I don't think he'd get high. I think he'd be too, too good for it. And Daphne was always supposed to be, like, just, like, a proper girl. She also wears a matching ascot, if I remember correctly, so... They're supposed to be the yeah. prep kids. Oh, God, Mommy! Mm. Zombies! I mean, Fred will beat in a minority, but he's not gonna take a token. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I don't fuck up here. Please don't. You're fucking up! You're fucking up! <laughs> Thank you. No, turn down service, though! Uh. Thud. Christ again with the chest shots. <laughs> wow. Um. We just stay. stay this is down. becoming theater. <laughs> I feel like Austin Powers uh, when he tries to kill Will Ferrell's character. Like, why won't you die? <laughs> you do everything. Like, just fucking die for once. Oh, we're talking about yeah, not Austin Powers, but actually, um, yeah, Austin Powers. What is his name? Yeah, the character Will Ferrell's character. Uh, Nafu or something like that? Mustafa. Mustafa. No. Um, Dr. Evil. Austin Powers did not try to kill Dr. Evil. I'm sorry. Did Austin... He did it. Austin Powers did not try to kill Mustafa. Dr. Yep. Evil tried to kill Mustafa. I'm very badly burned. And yes. then... But he did... He does wreck and then breaks his legs out in the first one. And that's why the hmm. gag went into the second one. Shame on me. It's been a while. I had a really hard time watching them when I was younger. Like, it seemed... Shameless, oddly enough, and this is coming from a relatively conservative Russian standpoint at the time. Like, oh, are you allowed to laugh at this or show this? This is weird. I don't like this. And then weird. you grow up a little bit and you go, fucking, it's a joke. It's fine. Run with yeah. it. I mean, seriously, the, one of the characters' name is Fat Bastard. Fat Bastard. Yep. Get in my belly. <laughs> well, <laughs> Fat Bastard the Cannibal should be his full name. True. Unless, unless you consider little people to be non-human and someone of his particular girth and magnitude not to be human either, but perhaps rather an ogre. Well, he does play an ogre later on. Hmm. About two years later. Ogre. I remember it was them 1999. I think it was January. Den of winter. Alaska. Rabbit ears antenna. Shitty reception. A theatrical trailer for Shrek comes on TV. And I'm like... Oh, this shit gonna be good. It's gonna be the best shit was, of all time. I was so excited because it seemed like it was irreverent and yet loving of the source material. It was a CG movie that I was totally into because video games have CG animatics. Yeah! And to this day, uh, Shrek does hold a special place in my heart. I don't know about the three or four sequels and the spinoff, but Shrek like itself. Yeah. Shrek was good. It was indeed. Please keep off of the grass. Wipe your face. No, clean your face, wipe your hands. Duloc is, Duloc is, Duloc is a perfect place. When they walk into the castle for the first yeah, time. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm trying to remember if it was, I think they say wash your hands. I, I know your... I messed it up, I'm just trying not to try I'm try, I, to No, 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 no. Uh, I know you're not. I'm just, to me, I was like, God, what the hell do they say? It's a good rhyme. Yeah, it is. I'm going to go... Put this last one in. It is time for that one. Do it. 
Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. We're still missing one. Oh. Then it's the last one. Say penultimate. Say penultimate and fucking mean it. Because <laughs> that is one that's usually misused. Did you know that? I did not. Because penultimate means the second to the last. Ah. And the ultimate means the last. And every time I hear like a a music player or a phone commercial says, this is the ultimate in fucking bullshit. <laughs> they will keep making them. There will be more. No <laughs> worries. You are liars. Liars, liars, pants on fire. Should they put the current ultimate edition? No. No, you choose ling ingu use English <laughs> like you're supposed to. <laughs> use English like I'm supposed to. Gotcha. Yes. Use my English. <laughs> no. Because the, the ultimate, well, yeah, like the telegraph is the ultimate in telegraph technology. Unless they make another space telegraph. Because every other communication is used upon a different medium, not a physical transmission across wires. Huh. Know what I mean? Yeah. If that tech tree is ended, if it is dead, find me a better wheel than the wheel. When we finally stop using rolling, rotating objects, because physically speaking, the less friction is required upon moving an object across the surfaces in the wheel, if you find me a better wheel, then the wheel is no longer the ultimate wheel. But until you find me a better tech, that is the last we'll ever make, because it's good fuck enough. Well, guys, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to save the last death mask for the next episode. It's been a good half hour. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. That I'm going off the tracks a little bit here. Oh, no, you're fine. Ink ribbons! I actually said it right this time. Yeah. As opposed to the usual rink ribbon. <laughs> rink ribbon. Rink ribbon. So, since I no longer need the gel games and then only the clear data. No, 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 no! Oh! Fuck, no. Oh, okay. Oh, so for Grime and Game, I'm Nutchucks. Brawbeat. We'll see you guys next time.